Look, this is so beautiful, guys. I love, 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 love it. Hello, everyone. You're welcome to Tips and Tricks with Praise. So today I'm going to be taking you through the journey of seam finishing. There are over 20 fin seam finishings, but I'm going to just go through seven of them. This is going to help you in your journey of sewing and cutting. So especially for those that don't have sewing machine, this will really help you. So let me go through the things we need for these tutorials. We need a ruler, we need a scissors and a measurement tape. And of course, you know, we need our chalk. So let's go. The first seam finishing I'll be teaching you is called the French seam finishing. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this sample fabric as a sample for this tutorial. So first of all, you're going to take you take the two wrong side facing each other, that means you're going to be working on the right side of your fabric. So go ahead. We're going to be using a very little mathematics here to make this sewing possible. So, you know, you're going to take your tape on one inch. Just imagine you're going to be using a one inch for sewing allowance. And you see that one inch? Yes. That's what we are going to be using but however we're going to be just take a little bit from that one inch to sew so i'm going to be using one four from my one inch that will leave us with something between five eight or three four i think three four yes i'm going to be using one four from one inch so just bear in mind one four minus your one inch don't worry i'm going to bring along how to read your tape correctly then i'll begin to sew it gradually then cut trim off the excesses just like i'm doing right now not too close to your stitch line though, just a little bit. Yes, just to keep it straight. As you can see, this is what you're going to get when you're finished doing that. Go to your learning table and go ahead and give this a very fine press with your good thin iron. So, yes, go ahead and do. So at this stage, I finished ironing and I'm just going to show you that what is left on my one inch is what we're going to be sewing. So I'm showing you what is left. This is about three, four left. And I'm going to just sew it. That means we're turning now to the right, wrong side and we're going to use the remainder of our one inch to sew in our allowance so we're going to sew in three four now and just go ahead and sew so now cut 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 and this is what we get so beautiful this can work for lightweight fabric your organzas your chiffon your laces anything you know you don't need to really weave just go ahead and have this now you can press this if you wish to and now i'm just going to be working on an angazza same thing just in a different fabric this works perfectly for lightweight fabric like angazza and shifo like i said earlier so this is me just showing you that it can work anywhere trim 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 and let's go ahead and see what we get now go flip inside high on if you have to at this point then sew what is left so the smaller the seam allowance you're going to be getting the cuter your finished work will look like this is a very i'm showing sure that i can do it in a very small seam so you can see our organza is beautifully sewn and even if you have to see anything from outside your organza you're going to only be seeing the seam allowance so i'm just showing you the finished product of the one i've done and this is the organza this is the other fabric i've used same result different fabric but cute cute finishing so yeah this is what's going to be showing if you have to see anything outside very smooth you won't see any rough edges your ungather will run off there'll be no shedding or whatever so now this is another type of sewing and it's called the mock french finishing mock french finishing another it's another type of french finishing though but something different similar but different so now go ahead we're going to be working with one inch throughout this video so just know that when i say seam allowance i'm talking about one inch so mark at your one inch and so 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 and yes cut now you can see what we have here now this is weird now go ahead to your iron and press your seam open with your good steam iron and you can flip one side inwards like you are seeing but now let us use good steam iron guys you know we are all about good steam iron on this channel so press your seam open close now flip one side inwards towards your center seam allowance and iron generously with a moderate steam don't burn your cloth so inside joke i actually burnt this dress while i was ironing but i had to cut that part so that you will not see it <laughs> now go i'm done with that go ahead and sew closely like now you are sewing at the edge of the fabric like the edge like you can see that part i'm just pointing out so 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 and just go ahead and do it neatly tucking 
inside if you have to now this is the finished work so beautiful don't mind my my snake stitch <laughs> you can do yours better so go ahead and hang on very well at this point yes now look at the back how the front is going to look like and yeah that's it the third seam finish we're going to be doing is called the clean edge finishing guys the clean edge finishing this one it's cool for um any kind of fabric basically so we're going to be using one inch to go ahead and press your seam open like we did in the previous mock french finishing iron flats like this yes 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 go ahead and iron almost same result now flip inwards like no flip outwards this time around use your steam iron generously be careful not to burn and just talking talking iron talking yes 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 you're getting there yeah go ahead and talking and iron generously go to your sewing machine and sew on the edge of the fabric this type of uh, this type of um so sewing allowance can be good for your pants, your side seams of your trousers, your skirt, or whatever it is you're not going to be lining. All this method I'm going to be teaching you are very, very, very cool on clothes that you're not going to be lining and or any clothes that are going to be shedding that has a really good, uh, that has a very bad shed or frill. So just look at it, uh, finish work wide and high on. At this point, I think I've pressed it already. Yes, I've pressed it. Look at the back look, the front rather. Please try and read the text on these videos, guys. It's going to guide you on so many things I won't be saying. Third one we're going to be doing is the flat felt finishing. Flat felt finishing. This time you're going to take your... It's, you, you can do it either way. It's right side facing right side or wrong side facing wrong side. However you want it. But for this tutorial, we're going to be using the wrong side. The right side facing right side. And of course, you know our allowance already. I'm just marking it out for you to see that yes this is what we are doing wrong side we're marking out the wrong side and yeah go ahead to your sewing machine we're using our one inch as you know then so 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 yeah go ahead and sew cut and open now what we're going to be doing at this point you can hide on if you want to but just take one piece of your your one inch as soon and trim like one four of your one inch like sorry you're going to be trimming and leaving one four close to your seam allowance go ahead and just one side be careful not to hold the two side yeah just take one piece of the one inch allowance you have sewn now trim 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 yeah go ahead now you see look at what you are going to be getting one side is one inch other part will be one four now this part is very important pay close look to this part now you're going to flip it close touching the um, stitch line then you're going to flip it over to close up that excess that one half um, that one four excess close it like this flip like this look at it this is what you're going to be getting from your hand now you can pin to keep it in place or you can hang on to keep it in place however you can even use your Emin gum to keep it in place, whichever is handy at that point you are working on it. So look at me, I'm just going to pin to keep it in place. You know I love pinning my fabrics. Please work with your pin. Your pin is your best friend as a fashion designer. Now I've pinned it now, I'm just going to go to my machine and sew neatly and carefully. Emphasis on it so you know this is going to be showing at the outer part of your fabric on the inside of your fabric depending on the place you are turning to so be very careful and mindful of how neat you are going to be sewing so this is me trying to sew now so i'm just going to sew it carefully neatly no need to rush it me taking off, i'm taking off the pin so that my needle will not break through i know you can actually sew on your needle but i'm not pinning in a way that i can sew across the needle and look at how the finished look will look like so beautiful guys it's so beautiful you can this is what your jean you no know, go and look at your jean trousers or your jean skirt or jacket this is the, this is the most likely seam you're going to be having inside look at how the inside is beautiful you can turn it upside down like however you want to place your fabric that is your choice it's going to come out same finished look and beautiful this is what what is what's way for your jean or your trouser or whatever your shorts and they like so guys this is what you're going to have beautiful isn't it now let's go the other same finishing i'll be teaching you is called the hong kong finishing hong kong sounds japan i'll be chinese i don't don't mind me just trying to go for around so we're going to be using the buyers our buyers at this point this 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 particular same finishing actually 
cost incentive because you have to buy a whole full roll of buyers or two buyers to work with but guys you will love the finished work now look at it after sewing your one inch allowance just iron open then take one end and pipe in to your bias like you are seeing what i'm doing now just fold it your bias fold it into two and put your raw edge inside look at it take one hand take your bias put your raw edges in and close it up like i'm doing right now just go to your sewing machine and sew away carefully oh this thing is very tricky you have to show your be sure that your machine is eating both sides Put the back and the front so so carefully and slowly actually this takes time but the result is very very beautiful at the end of the day so just go ahead and sew and sew like i'm doing right now so yes 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 guys So this i've sewn the other parts already and yes just cut you see i've i've piped both ends of my fabric and i've ironed it this is the finished look this is so beautiful guys i love 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 it so this is fine maybe because of the contrasting color of the bias and the fabric i don't know it's so fine this can work well for your trousers your skirt your tops whatever you're going to be working on that has no lining or honda facing inside so just this is so beautiful this is the outback look iron properly at this point and this is what you're going to be getting in your finished look now this other one i'm showing you is the organic matter, matter of them all <laughs> guys this is the buyer's bound finishing buyer's bouncing finishing almost similar to what we have done before but quite different this works very very well with laces like if you have lace fabrics um lights lightweight fabric like uh, chiffon or ganza um it works with crepe as well in a couple number of fabrics this is what you'll be using now you know wrong right side facing wrong side so your one inch we are going to we have been working with so it's down cut 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 now you're going to either trim off the excess like trim off and so like maybe you can trim off half of your one inch I mean, that means you're going to be leaving half or you can actually pipe like this me personally i prefer to trim out and have a very small seam left just like the way you'll be seeing in this video i actually prefer to see trim out almost the same thing as our um bias finishing our bias bound finishing but different now at this point i've actually trimmed out the excess and i have like a little bit left for what I'm sewing now, you're just going to take your two edge together. You no, know, our bias band finish you are going to be opening it up, but this time you're going to be folding it together and you're going to be piping it now. Okay, no, this is me trimming off part of my one inch, and I have something very small now. I'm sewing it and piping it inside. Now, you are going to this part, this one, you are sewing the two raw edge together as opposed to the bias band finishing when you are sewing just one end separately and the other separately. Now, this is what I'm going to be getting cut, cut, cut now wow this is so beautiful guys it's so cute i love it don't you now this is your finished look this is the front of your fabric this is the back iron at this point if you have to and look at this fine the other type of finishing we're going to be teaching is raw edge or pinky shears finishing guys what's a pinky shear a pinky shear is what is generally known as a zigzag scissors some of you have it some of you don't i don't actually but now this is the same thing go ahead and sew your one inch now instead of piping or whatever you're just going to sew along that edge but this is me just trying to straighten my excess i don't want a very rough looking excess if you have a zigzag scissors at this point this is a good time to use it trim off and it's going to give you that zigzag look now just going to sew the I'm just going to sew him outside of my fabric and this is it. This is going to minimize the shedding of your fabric if you have a fabric that sheds but this my fabric does not shed too but it's going to minimize it in coat not top shedding. Now this is the last last type of seam sewing we'll be doing and this is called the curved edge finishing guys guess what I forged this name myself. <laughs> I couldn't come up with a better name actually. This is called curved edge finishing. It's very good for your cycle 
cuts, your cycle skirts, your cycle tops or gowns or whatever it is. So now go ahead, flip in one inch or five eight inch or half basically, anything you want to flip in. Flip it and sew a little bit of it. You're going to be sewing like one four or um, just basically one four in. Now this is me, I finished sewing and ironing. Now go ahead and trim off the excess which is left. You know I'm going to be sewing something very tiny. More tiny than my own no, and neater than my own. Please guys, I'm just trying to rush through this video so I wasn't really paying so much emphasis on neat finishing. So just go ahead and trim, trim, trim. Now see me here, yeah, I've finished trimming everything I need. Now this is the finished look. Go ahead and flip that swatch which you have sewn, flip it inside and sew. Like you are doubling it now, there's no stupid things. And I mean, you are going to be tucking in that rough edge you have cut out. You are going to be hiding it inside the seam you are going, you are currently sewing. Now I'm just trying to finish up my sewing. I'm going way far. You have to be very careful. This is a very technical sewing you are doing. So this is the finished look of iron. Iron at this point. This is you see this kind of fray scallopy look is giving you yet yeah, it's giving what i want so beautiful guys now this is so fine look at it it's very nice for your cycle skirt and whatever now this is our finished products we have done today we've done a whole lot seven time of types of seam finishing hmm this is so cool if you don't have a sewing machine say bye bye to Sorry, if you don't have a weaving machine, this is the end of your problem. I've come to bring a lasting solution for you. So I'm just showing you all we've done. Our French finishing, our mock French finishing, clean edge finishing, the flat fed finishing, the bias finishing, which we have the Hong Kong and the bias bound finishing, and the raw edge finishing. Yes, and the curved edge finishing. See them? I'm just showing you all of them in no particular order. This is the last one, curved hair finishing. This is all we've done. I think it's about eight or nine. I can't count. Please let me know how many we've done today. So guys, thank you for watching.